everybody this is Kenny the messy soaper over at Royal Appleberry and I have not made a soap today it is June June 9th and I've not made a soap in probably ooh, I want to say four weeks <laughs> uh, no, no 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 let me take that back I haven't filmed a video in four weeks um I've been actually making soap I made um this will be my fourth soap today and I made two yesterday, so I've been on a roll. And I think I wanna make another one, so you're gonna hear, hear a microwave beep in the background. But what I'm going to do is a chamomile. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do Rustic Essentials Milk and Chamomile Tea. It smells really, really good. It's very relaxing smelling. It's so nice, it's a, such a pleasant, pleasant smell. You can really definitely smell the chamomile in it. So this one's gonna be fairly simple. It's going to be pale yellow. The pale is yellow I can get. to be using a sunburst sparkle mica from rustic essential and it's I think it's like a really nice yellow but I think I want to add just a tad bit of white um just because I feel like it will soften things up a little bit the way I want them to be so mm. I think that's good I don't want too much white like I said, this soap is going to be pretty simple. But sometimes simple are the best, the prettiest ones. You know what? You know what? You know what? Alright. Now I need to grab a spoon. On all things, I did not grab a spoon. I have so many soap dishes to wash. It's just like really not even funny. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, the reward was great which was a lot of soaps and what I've been making is really just remakes and then of course because life would have it um, my cat's pajamas I made two loaves trying to be proactive and those loaves discolored like I tried a new fragrance because for whatever reason um, the first time I made cat's pajamas um, and I didn't make actual cat's pajamas if you're new <laughs> I made a soap called the cat's pajamas but um the first one i made it rice a little bit nothing crazy then i changed my recipe and then all the fragrance separated from it because it just did not work well with my recipe there's nothing wrong with the fragrance it was just not compatible with my recipe so then i tried to oh geez i'm just making a mess over here i tried to create my own blend and i got two fragrances both said they didn't have vanillin in them but one of them did so that soap is quite unattractive to me and I'm sure it's just me, but um, I don't like it. So I'm going to make two more. And I just got to figure out how to work with this fragrance. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to end up changing the fragrance altogether. Although that's not what I wanted to do because, okay, that ended up turning tan and not yellow. All right. Um, I guess I'll just end up using the last bit of my sunburst. I know it looks like a lot, but it's really not. But yeah, so I'll take those two loaves to the craft fair because those customers have no idea what it's supposed to look like. But um, I think I'm just going to change the fragrance altogether. <laughs> So I'm kind of just picking out any sticks because of course I don't want any scratchy bits in here. 
I just really want the heads and my hands are clean. I just need to um, not have on gloves because I'll get these bits stuck all over my gloves and I like to be able to feel what I'm doing, you know what I mean? So I'm just kind of digging in here and getting out um, just the chamomile, um, not the stems or the flowers there's a lot in the bottom of this container and I think I said this before you can go to your local uh, uh, ethnic stores like Asian markets Middle Eastern markets and do you support them you know go and uh, find some really really good stuff for your soap making um, I always find really really good additives for my soap making and it's really really inexpensive okay so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more because I just think that's not enough All right, I think that's good. I don't think I want to add any more. So I'm going to clean up all of these bits. And then I'll get that started. All right, so now that this is so pretty. Hopefully it stays this color. <laughs> that's a beautiful color. Um, I'm going to add my fragrance. I think this is perfect. All righty, there we go. This fragrance smells so good. It's just so calming. So yeah, I already decided I'm keeping a bar of this for myself. That is very, very pleasant. Then we will put this in the mold and wait for it to set up and texture the top and that'll be all. Because I don't know what I'm going to do for the top. Maybe I will put uh, chamomile on the top. I haven't decided yet. And I think I will put the heads on the top. You can just pluck those off if you don't like them. That's why I do like a lot of my botanicals for soaps I use because um, Beguiling is my most favorite soap that I've ever made. Um, as far as just the, the, the fragrance and the way it feels and just everything about it, I love that soap. I do love my mermaid soap, definitely so, but Beguiling is just a simple beauty for me. And I always uh, hope that a bar gets damaged so I can keep it. And I've been lucky. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy. I've been lucky enough to be able to get damaged bars that I can keep because they break apart. And um, I just pluck the rolls off the top. Or if I'm feeling like I want to be pampered, I'll just let it float around in the tub while I'm taking a bath. So, yep, you can just pluck it off the top. It's no big deal, darling. No big deal at all. Uh-oh, making a mess over here. Anyway, so... Go ahead and get that poured in there. And it's weird because it's warm. My bowl is warm, but it's very fluid. Very, very fluid, as you can see. Extremely fluid. <laughs> so I'm going to stop pouring in a second just because I think that's all that's going to fit in there. That smells so good. Oh, I love the way that smells. That's going to be so pretty. It's just something about simple soaps. It is something about them. So, as you can see, this is extremely runny. I will bring you guys back when this has set up and I can do something with the top. It has set up a little bit. Um, I don't think it's going to hold any peaks just yet, but I'm just going to get this on here and kind of pat it down. And then I'll try to texture it. And I'm really undecided on, um, really undecided on what I want to put on the top of the soap. I kind of want to put chamomile, but I, I want flowers or something. So, I thought about a little bit of sea salt, and I don't, I just don't know if it goes with the thing of things. And then I was thinking some calendula, and it, that might work, but it's just like, mm, you can't calendula everything, okay? So, <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. It, guys, I don't know. Okay, let me grab a spoon.
Pook and happy you found me. I really, really appreciate you swinging on by and seeing what I am all about. I am Kenny. Yes, I'm a girl the guy's name, The Messy Sofer. I call myself a messy sofer because if you stick around and watch some more of my videos, you will find out why. Today was just a good day. <laughs> I just love when my my battery dies. <laughs> and I checked my battery too. My camera is really funny. It likes to play jokes on me. It's like, yeah, sure. You got more than enough time to film. Go right ahead. And then while I'm filming, it's just like, oops, <laughs> gotta go. So, <laughs> um, that's okay because, haha, I got a backup battery. Suck on that camera battery. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm glad you stopped by. And if you want to become a part of my sack, which is my stinking awesome crew, that is what my subscribers are because you guys are just that stinking awesome. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free. I am talking like I'm closing out this video, but I am not. Oh, no, 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 no. Stick around because there will be a cutting that is going to come up right after I'm done mucking around with this. Yes. And I learned a new word. And I need to um, learn how to use it in the right context. <laughs> um, because as you guys, a lot of you know, I, I, I do a lot of different accents. Why? I don't know. I've done it since I was a child. And uh, some of them I make up myself and some are actual accents. And uh, a lot of you say, oh my God, you sound, Scot you sound Scottish when you just said that. So I learned another Scottish word, I believe is called, <laughs> pronounced shugly. <laughs> So I'm going to figure out how to use that and you'll be hearing me say shugly quite a lot. But um yeah. It's uh, thank you darling <laughs> for telling me she <laughs> she says try it. So I'm going to try it because I always say we and that I don't know why I always use the word we to describe a little a little bit a little bit more. Alright, so I think this looks good, I think. I think. I feel like it's missing something. What that something is, I don't know. I just really kind of want to put salt on it. But should I? Should I not? I just feel like it's kind of bland. Let me see. Let us see. Oh, yes. Yes, we're doing it. So, um, just a little bit, I think. Yes. See? Look at that. You should always go with your, your gut when it tells you to do it. Do it. All right, stay tuned for the cutting. It's coming up right now. <laughs> the lies I tell to you guys. <laughs> yep, I was going to take you over to the cutting, which will be the next day for you all. I mean, next day for me, immediately after for you all. But I didn't show you up close, so that's what it looks like up close. I love that color, like, so much. Hopefully it does stay that color. But I'm really happy I did put the sauce on there because it just did something. It just, like, really gave it some life. It was just too plain. It really was. But anywho, now you can wait because the cutting's coming up right now. Welcome back to the cutting of this gorgeous smelling soap. So I think it's been a it's been almost a week since I made this soap. And I just unmolded it today. But I don't think I showed you guys the uh, pink Himalayan sea salt that I decided to put on it. So I did go that route and with these little bits here, I guess I can pluck them off now or I'll just trim them up. Yeah, I'll trim them up later. But yeah, so I kind of feel like this soap was a little bit darker yellow, but I can't remember because it's been a week. But I'm very happy with the color that it is now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lay this piece of a... Uh, napkin under there so it doesn't make a big old mess yeah let's do that and hopefully you guys can see but okay so I made um, a bunch of remakes too and Gabe was asking when was I gonna bring back my deer hunting so I made that soap years ago and I am very foolish right now I need to lay that on his side <laughs> um, so I did make that and I figured since it's been like three years I think since I last made that soap then um, I should just cut it and let you guys see and we can see together what we got but there you go from my chamomile tea soap oh that smells fun just fine I really do like the way that smells it's just so oh, it's just a cozy smell a very very cozy smell so, there's not a whole lot to see on this soap just because um, 
it's plain colored <laughs> but of course I was gonna show you guys a cutting video of it so there's the top that is so girly and dainty that now that's very dainty very very dainty I love that color though like for seriously I really do love that color I grab a dry napkin I keep touching the wet towel and it's just making the soap slippery when I touch it yeah I guess my music just decided it was done <laughs> so um I guess I can I don't know yeah I was gonna fast forward the rest but no need okay <laughs> what is this sticking to the side of my mold I mean my cutter that is so pretty. I love that. I really do. I'm going to keep a bar of this for myself. Because I'm just really digging that color. Like, for reals. That is such a pretty, pretty color. I love pale colors. Like, solid soaps. I don't really like pale color, multicolored soaps. But I love a pale, solid color soap. And, excuse my dark nails, y'all. <laughs> um, I bought some new jeans. And, if any of you know about dark rinse jeans, yeah. So, I had those on and they just, I don't care how much you wash them, you still get that dark dye. So, it kind of dyed my fingernails. But, it's okay. Oh, there's music. I guess it was just on a little break. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a fan food fantastic day. Today is June the 13th, which is a Wednesday. If I'm, yes. Um, so, I'm just down here doing soap and stuff. I'm not making soap, I'm just cutting a bunch of soaps that I make so I did make I think five soaps four soaps five soaps I don't remember but I end up cutting six because I had some that I had previously made beguiling I had made again so I've been doing really 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 good with my stock but I'm gonna have to do even more because the more I make the more I sell <laughs> and that's a very very good problem to have no complaints from me so I'm just feeling like I'm going to have to triple up on my lows instead of double, especially for my most popular ones. There you have it. That is just so nice. I can't stop smelling it because <laughs> it smells so nice. Very, very good, pleasant, calming, smelly. And I guess the drag marks couldn't be avoided just because they are actually in the soap, the chamomile. So, but it's doing better than I, I had hoped. So, no complaints here. All right, so that is it for my chamomile soap. Very, very pretty. And now we are going to cut my deer hunting. Let me just clean up a little bit and then I'll bring you guys back. Okie doke. So there's my camo soap, which is my deer hunting. Um, I didn't film it just because I filmed it, I think, twice before. But, um, I figured I'd just show you guys the cutting. And, oh, also, if you want this fragrance, I did already tell you that, but just a friendly reminder, if you want the milk and chamomile tea fragrance, be sure to head over to Rustic Sensuals, because that is where I got it. And it is lovely, and it's well-behaved, as you can tell. Because, uh, like I said, this is a week later. Alright, so... Get a little piece off, a little out pace. See how this turns out. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Give that little in to Gabriel once it cures out. He'll appreciate that. All right, this music is really starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> yeah, it's still pretty cool looking. I remember. I was just like, wow, I haven't done this in so long. How's this going to turn out? But it's still actually pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. So, very happy that I did go ahead and make it. Um, I don't think I'm going to be making this again because uh, now I remembered why I stopped making it because it is a very time-consuming soap to make. 
very time consuming so I am so not interested in making this anymore but actually I'm gonna make it one more time and then that way I'll use up all of the fragrance that I have left for it but after that we're gonna retire old deer hunting just because unless there is some huge demand for it <laughs> other than that honey no Kenny won't be making it no more mm -mm. <laughs> but it is really really cool looking I have to say memories wow in my videos like my beginning videos <laughs> I was so quiet <laughs> I'm like and nice just like oh hi guys I just want to show you my dear on so <laughs> now I'm just all over the place screaming laughing squilling whatever but um that's just like when you first start uh filming you just don't know like you know okay be yourself of course but you don't know what your fans or how your fans are going to react to you and not fans really subscribers are going to react to you so you just kind of got to feel your way around but just always stay true to yourself and I've always been quite the ham <laughs> but I'm just like you know I don't want to scare anybody I'm like oh my gosh she's so crazy and loud <laughs> but now I don't care <laughs> I'm here honey and I ain't going nowhere so <laughs> Um, yeah, I just kind of, and then somebody made a comment a long time ago. It says, I am so glad you finally found yourself. And that wasn't meant in a rude way, not at all. Uh, it was just saying, you know, the squealing, the loud, the hilarious laughing, the joking, that's me, you know, the quiet, you know, kind of like the tutorial type talking. That was what I was doing in the beginning, but that is not me. But, uh, yeah, it didn't take me long. <laughs> <laughs> it really didn't <laughs> but um yeah just um if you decide to start filming and I hope a lot of you do because I would love to see what you got and oh my gosh it's so many new soap makers so yeah I just want to tell you all welcome to YouTube um filming it is so great to see you I am watching I am subscribing I have subscribed to so many new soap makers and a lot of times I don't say anything I just uh because I don't really have time um, I'll just sit and watch a video or two and then I'll go ahead and give you my support and subscribe and off I go. But I do always stalk you. <laughs> I'm big on stalking people's channels. Yes, I am. So you never know when Kenny's lurking around because I do lurk. But, um, yeah, it's just so nice to see you. So very, very nice to see you. And I can't wait to see more of you. If you decide to become a YouTuber, it would be great, great, great. That one's cool. I, really, I think this is like my favorite piece right here but yeah so nice so very nice so I got two more soaps to cut and one more soap to cut yeah one more soap to cut then okay I'm going to wrap some soaps for next, for next week's which will be you guys will probably have already bought those soaps by the time you see this video but um yeah so that's it guys I um, hope you enjoyed if you did please be sure to give a thumbs up it is greatly appreciated and hit that bell and okay here's some new bell YouTube's forever doing something here's some new things with the bell so if you click the bell once I believe it uh, asks you if you want to get notifications all the time and if you click it again you can get notifications sometimes so be sure to set it to all the time so you'll know whenever I post a new video and you can run right over here and see what I am up to because again it is greatly appreciated and I'm so fucking happy that you are here and also um did I say subscribe <laughs> guys I am like totally loopy today yep subscribe I think I said that already um to become a part of my, my sack my stinking awesome crew that's what my sack is because you guys are just that stinking awesome yes you are but anyway I'm gonna get out of here and be sure to give a thumbs up if you do like my beautiful uh chamomile soap which I can't pick up because my hands are wet and my camo, chamomile camo. <laughs> Bye.